A cold spring delayed rice planting and a wet June stalled growth, causing this year's crop to be behind schedule. LSU Ag Center rice specialist Johnny Sechuk said drier conditions could improve the crop's outlook. Rice is just beginning to go into flowering. And during pollination, we do not want rainfall if at all possible. Rice acreage is up slightly from recent years, with more farmers planting medium grain rice, such as the variety Jupiter. Yeah, there's a little bit premium offered for Jupiter. It looked like the medium grain supply might be a little low. Sechuk said growers are starting to see minor problems with the disease sheath blight, and he suspects it could get worse if the state has a rainy summer. He also said growers are seeing more armyworms in their rice than ever before. LSU Wax Center rice breeder Steve Linscombe continues to work on potential varieties to help farmers combat problems in the field. We have uh, several very promising lines that have very high yield potential, good grain quality, and we think a pretty good disease package. The Ag Center's rice breeding team is working on a new herbicide-resistant technology called Provisia that will allow farmers to control the red rice wheat without harming their crop. The system may be available to farmers in three years, and it's similar to the Clearfield technology rice farmers use now. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.